Good morning. It's Monday the 3rd of April 2023 and the remainder of Central Walk has opened, so let's check it out. But before we do, here is a quick recap of the story so far. On the 13th of November 2022, the south side of Central Walk opened and a white wall covered the rest of it. This included seven new escalators serving the southern sides of Platform 16 to 23. Then in mid-March 2023, the first lift came into service. This was for Platforms 22 and 23, and the north escalators for these platforms came into use at the same time. And a wall made of silver foil covered the remaining unopened section. And on the 3rd of April, the remaining three lifts came into use, along with six further escalators to serve the northern sides of Platform 16 to 21. And a new temporary connection through the Metro Concourse opened up as well. So in this video, I'm just going to cover the new parts of Central Walk that opened today, along with a new temporary passageway through the Metro Concourse. For all the other changes, do check out last week's video appearing on the top right now and also linked in the description below. So this is from the new part of Central Walk that has just opened, looking east. It's now at its full width, which is 19 metres, and the length is around 80 metres. Now looking west with the Platform 16 and 17 lift in the distance, and now the Platform 18 and 19 lift. And then the lift for Platforms 20 and 21, and for 22 and 23 behind it. The vertical concrete columns that were previously hidden by fencing are now much more visible. They support the horizontal sandstone coloured beams that bear the weight of the platforms and tracks. And between these beams are the familiar white panels, along with black strips for lighting and CCTV. Many passengers on their Monday morning commute seemed unaware of the changes. For them, it was just another day. So the opening of the remaining part of Central Walk includes six new escalators, so let's check them out. These are the north escalators to platform 16 and 17. All the new escalators have lighting strips to illuminate the handrails and stairs, along with emergency stop buttons. And at the top, there is some black fencing to provide some extra protection. This fencing has also been added to the north escalator entrance for platforms 18 and 19. Now coming down the platform 18 and 19 north escalators. Notice these tactile surfaces, which are at the top and bottom of all the central walk escalators. And all the escalator walls have white panels at the top, which then change to sandstone coloured glass reinforced concrete further down. Notice the natural light coming down from the glass lift shaft that are sandwiched between the horizontal beams that I mentioned earlier. Advertising panels have appeared, such as this one on the left, and bins have gone in as well. So that it doesn't feel left out, here is a trip up on the north escalators for platforms 20 and 21. So the opening of Central Walk has added 50 new escalators to Central Station, with the suburban platforms now having escalators for the very first time. I think it's time to test out the lifts. And I'll start with the one for platforms 16 and 17. When the doors open, green lights invite you inside. The buttons are nice and low, and also on both sides of the lift. And it's so cool to look out at Central Walk as you ascend to the platforms. As I mentioned earlier, the glass lift shafts allow natural light to filter down to central walk, and these frosted glass panels do that as well. And from below, you can be entertained by watching people's feet as they walk over them. Now for the platform 18 and 19 lift. On the platforms, the lift entrances are on the south side, and that's the same for all four island platforms. Notice the lights change from green to flashing red as the lift doors close. Down on Central Walk, the lift doors are all on the north side, so remember to turn around. And of course the Platform 20 and 21 lift is exactly the same as all the others, but it didn't feel right to leave it out. So how about some relaxing lift music? Mm -hmm. 
If you've been enjoying these lift tours, then I have one more coming up, so keep watching. So this passageway behind me has now closed, which means that for the next few weeks there will be no access to the Southern Tunnel. So the temporary passageways marked in purple have gone, replaced by this new passageway running along the east side of the Metro Concourse. So this is now gone, and there is currently no access to the Southern Tunnel from Platforms 4 to 11. So when one entrance closes, another entrance opens, and I think you'll find this one is much more interesting. So just beyond the Platform 16 and 17 lift and north escalators is the entrance to the new temporary passageway that goes into the Metro Concourse. This last horizontal beam marks the end of Central Walk, and the Platform 14 lift is sandwiched between that last beam and a canopy-like structure. This is now looking back into Central Walk, with this beam again marking its entrance. So now looking down the new temporary passageway, and you can see the impressive canopy-like structure visible above. It covers the entire eastern side of the Metro Concourse, extending all the way from the south side to the northern concourse stairs. And in the middle is a flat ceiling structure that is over three sets of escalators that go to the Metro platforms. So those Metro escalators are literally on the other side of this silver foil, but I'm too short to see them. This canopy structure is supported by a number of vertical columns, whilst the flat middle ceiling appears to be suspended in mid-air. Both have the familiar white panels and black strips to provide cohesion with central walk and the canopies for platforms 12 to 14, which do look rather similar to the Metro Concourse canopy structures. The west side of the Metro Concourse also has the same canopy style ceiling, and you can see the columns for both canopies on either side of the middle ceiling here. Over on the right are the platform 14 north escalators, which also bring natural light down into the concourse from this platform. And between these escalators and the lift are these frosty glass panels, which are currently covered over with boards. And I'm sure you can imagine the additional natural light that will filter down once these boards are removed. And these panels continue beyond the lift to the south escalators, which are now in view. So that's the platform 14 lift and escalators located, now for the ones for platforms 12 and 13. Here is the lift, and now the north escalators, and a teeny glimpse of the south escalators. The lift shaft that you can see behind me is for the two lifts that will go down to the metro platforms. And they are pretty close to the northern concourse lifts. Notice how the ceiling over the central part of the metro concourse finishes just before the lift shaft, and then restarts again on the other side. And it appears that there is a higher ceiling that the lift shaft is connected to. On the metro concourse, the lift doors will be on the north side. The moving of the temporary passageway means a significant change to access from the northern concourse. The stairs to the right of the lifts that were open are now closed off, and this is to allow the remaining work to be completed on this side. And that means that the brand new stairs to the left of the lifts have now become available for the very first time, and they have illuminated handrails. Work continues on the wall on the left, which also includes some rooms for equipment. And this passageway has the now familiar blue carpet, that also extends to the lifts, and that's my next port of call. Now as I hinted in my last video, these two lifts that go to the Northern Concourse and platforms now serve the Metro Concourse. Which means that there is now a step-free alternative to using the stairs. Now I've been in these lifts many times before, but never from this level. These lifts are a little different, as they have three stopping points. So now leaving the Metro Concourse level, and going up to the Northern Concourse, and the doors for this level are on the opposite side, so facing north. You can see some of the opal gates for the Eddy Avenue entrance on the other side. Now continuing up to platforms 8 to 12, and of course platforms 13 and 14 in the future, and the doors also open on the north side for this level and you're greeted with a lovely view of the Heritage Station buildings that have been lovingly restored. So it's wonderful to see Central Walk now fully open, and a good chunk of the Metro Concourse as well. So please give this video a like, a thumbs up, leave a comment or question below, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and also check out my perks on Patreon, there's a link with further details in the description below. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one, which won't be about Central Station in a few days time. Bye for now.